I'm Laura. In a previous video on my YouTube channel called Fanfaron, I demonstrated how to make this 3D paper house. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make paper characters to go with your house. To complete this project, you'll need printer paper or cardstock, scissors, markers, and glue or tape. First, I'm going to show you how to make a stand for your character. The stand is these triangles right here. Make them out of cardstock or paper. Cardstock, of course, is sturdier. I cut strips of paper that are about an inch wide right off the edge of an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Fold them in half. Open it back up. Here's my center fold. Now I'm going to bring this edge near to the center, but not quite there and fold. Do the same thing on the other side. Put a little glue on this place you just folded. Attach them together. And that is your stand. Now it's time to make your person. I got started just with some markers, drawing a head, and some clothing. I'm going to add some arms. Some of you are going to be more artistic or detailed than I am. You can have a lot of fun with this. For those of you who are not, you can do something like this. Add some hair. This can be a boy or a girl. Put a smile on there, and probably we better have some eyes too. When you're done coloring, cut your person out. You don't have to cut right on the line, it'll make it a little bit easier if you don't. And then get one of those stands that you made earlier. Put some glue on your person. And glue your person right to the stand. There's your character. These are some other options that you can use to make your characters. These are actual photographs. You can just cut the person right out of the photograph and glue them onto a stand. Here's a pet. That's my cat, Ivy. She could also go on a stand. You could also use cookie cutters. Just trace them onto the paper and then color them before you cut them out. And another good option is to use advertisements or magazines and cut the kids or the characters out of that. This is one I cut out and I went ahead and glued it onto an old piece of a cereal box just to make it a little sturdier before I put it on the stand. So I'll cut that out again. And who says you have to stick to real people? You could also find pictures of fun characters that you enjoy and attach them to a stand as well. Happy crafting! The fun doesn't have to stop when your characters are complete. Here are some extensions you can try. Create trees or playground equipment for outside the house. Make a furniture set to put inside the house. Or you can name your characters and write a story about their adventures.